schedule today is wrecked. Wrecked's not really the right word, but it's crazy. So, uh, we've got some friends that moved and they, we're going to go help them uh, clean up at their old house so it can be turned over to the new owners. And then uh, I've got to be back because I've got to drive to Lewistown for a meeting tonight. And the roads are nasty around Jordan right now. So everything's kind of like wait and see. You know, this is Montana. We pride ourselves on being able to drive in this stuff. But it's the beginning of the season, which means that there's ice and people are getting used to it again. Um, all that good stuff. So we're just kind of waiting to see how the roads are. Um, and see what happens for the rest of the day. We did cancel Sharon's trip to Billings tomorrow. We'll just have to do that packing next week. So once I get the meeting today taken care of, um, you know, my schedule is a little bit easier, but I do need to go do a windshield out in the country tomorrow and do more reading for school and preparation for Sunday. Chad saved the day. We went and helped our friends load a little bit. Came home. Now I'm prepared to head off to Lewistown for a meeting. This meeting is part of my being president slash strength team stuff. Lewis Town is about 120, 130 miles from us. And the weather this morning was not looking good for the road report. But it's warmed up, the sun is shining, which means the highway will be warmer. And uh, it's good enough to take the car. Mentioned a week or so, maybe a little bit longer, that uh, you know, I had some anxiety over some different things, and the uh, the thing that I'm coming to realize. Look at all those deer. The thing that I'm coming to realize is uh, a lot of that comes from just overthinking possible scenarios, possible discussions, possible problems that could arise. And so I'm sitting here driving, and uh, the road is clear now. Uh, there was a few miles from Jordan that it was still wet, but right now it's dry and bare. Uh, no driving problems whatsoever, but we came into these clouds and so I'm already thinking okay what's the weather gonna do on the other side of the divide what if it gets cold tonight all these things and really there's no need to be overthinking those things I think there's a place for preparation but I think that causes a lot of anxiety instead of uh, just letting God deal with a lot of that and then when if, you've, if you're prepared for things, then it doesn't really matter what may come up. You're prepared to handle it, and you just handle it as you do. But continually think about it over and over and over again, I think, is one of the, uh, one of the keys to anxiety. And if we can stop overthinking, if I can stop overthinking, I think that would leave a lot of those uh, little anxieties made it home I'd like to thank Adele, 
Chris Stapleton, Dolly Parton, Toto, Led Zeppelin, Leonard Skinner, and anybody else that uh, I was just blaring out to for keeping me awake on the way home. All right, see you guys in tomorrow's video.